Hi guys, Derek Nathaniel here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you all know, 2020 brought about a lot of makeup trends and challenges. One in particular that stuck out for me was the One Dip Makeup Challenge. This is definitely going to be somewhat of a challenge because I am quite heavy handed with my product application. So I usually go back in quite a few times when I'm doing my makeup. But regardless, we're going to be challenging ourselves today. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Jumping right in, we're gonna start with the foundation. I picked the Maybelline Superstay foundation because it comes with like this little pump bottle and I feel like it's perfect for the challenge. So I'm not actually sure if this is my shade. I think it's like one shade lighter, but that is our one pump. And let's jump right into this. I'm trying to get this everywhere before I properly blend it out because I don't want to waste any product. Okay, just blending this out. Alrighty, foundation is on. I'm somewhat happy with the result, but obviously we cannot improve it because one dip challenge, that is all I'm getting, sweetie. <laughs> Next step is concealer. So I'm going to pull the wand out and this is all the product I'm getting. So let's use this sparingly or not. Okay, so I tried to put this on where the foundation didn't really cover that well. So I'm hoping that the concealer does what it's supposed to do and conceals. Okay, my concealer is now blended out. And honestly, for using one dip, my foundation and concealer is looking quite decent. For the next step, we're going into contour, but I think I'm gonna use a cream for this step just to save myself flopping with powder because I can't dip back into powder. So I'm gonna use a concealer for this. I'm gonna place this where I usually place my contour and hope for the best, I guess. Contour is now blended out. I do think it looks somewhat orange and is somewhat not there at all, but we're going to be moving on to our next step. I think the cream was a good idea with the powder. I feel like it would have left a lot on like the one side and then I would end up with like nothing on the one side, like one big tire track and then dust. I want to go in with powder, but I'm not sure if I want to use a cream blush or if I'm just gonna go in with a powder blush. I'll just use a powder blush, it's fine. So once again, going in with our one dip of powder. Let's get as much as we can on this brush. I'm trying to focus this powder on where I usually produce oil the most because this is all that I've got for this entire routine and I'm not going to be able to dip back into this which is a bit unfortunate. For blush now we are also going to be going in with our one dip so I'm definitely gonna intensely emerge the brush in here. Okay cool. <gasps> Why don't I blow the brush? I'm like losing product here of my own volition. Ridiculous. I think I'm gonna put a stroke on either side of the cheek just to get the product on there at first. Just put it everywhere. Okay, taking a quick break just to analyze. I think my face looks pretty much the same as I normally do my makeup, except my neck not being covered whatsoever, which is pretty apparent actually. For eyebrows, I'm taking a clean brush now. I've washed all my brushes before this, so this is definitely quite challenging. I'm gonna be dipping into the James X Morphe palette and try to get as much of that on there. I'm using an eyeshadow just because I feel like that it'll give me more than a normal brow powder would. So we're gonna see if I'm right or if I'm just dumb. My eyebrows are pretty full at the moment, so I'm kind of just gonna focus this on shaping to see if I can get somewhat of a good eyebrow going here. Let's take this over to the other eyebrow just to get as a, oh my god, I'm running out of product. <laughs> Eyebrows are not done. I'm definitely not impressed with the outcome, but again, this is a one dip makeup challenge. So what were we really expecting? I'm gonna see if I can take what's left on my beauty blender and try and give me somewhat of a base in my eye. I forgot to consider when I was using concealer that I might need some for my eye. Now we're jumping into the somewhat challenging part of this look and that is picking out what eyeshadow to use. Obviously I could go into multiple colors but it is all just one dip so it's just as challenging. I think we're going to keep it simple just for the sake of my sanity and maybe I'll just like match it with my jersey because 
why not? Grabbing the palette again, I'm gonna dip into that same dark shade I used on my eyebrows and use it for my eyes. Oh, I almost tapped off the brush. That would have been a very bad mistake. I'm gonna see if I can place this just here to give me somewhat of a liner look without the liner. I'm trying not to place too much product at once because then I'm gonna have nothing to properly blend this out with. Okay, with that messy liner done, I'm gonna see if I can blend it out with the same brush. Oh my word, it's becoming like thick cat eyeliner. This is not what I was trying to achieve. So obviously I was attempting <laughs> to make sure that I got enough liner, but this is a bit too much. So I'm going to be going in with a little bit of that foundation that I still have on my hand and hope that I can fix this up a bit because this is not the goal. Okay, great, that liner is somewhat cleaned up now. I'm gonna go into this lighter brown up top here. Again, one dip, and that's all we get. And then we're gonna put that on top of that liner. <gasps> that's too much. I'm grabbing another brush just to keep blending this out as much as I can. I'm definitely starting to see the challenge in this because that one dip is either too much, as we can now see, or it is not enough at all, so. I'm just going to try and fix this as much as I can and then we're going to move on to the next portion of this eyeshadow look. I'm going to take that blending brush that I was using to try and blend out the browns and I'm going to dip into this lighter light light brown here. Of course I tapped it off. And then I'm going to try and blend this a little bit further onto my lid just to get rid of that peachy skin tone coming through. And of course, I put it all on one lid again as well. Like, what am I doing? This is ridiculous. I definitely need to give this a lot more thought before just <laughs> placing eyeshadows on my face. Like, hello, you're not helping yourself here, sweetie. So for the final color, I definitely want to add a bit of green in because hello, I'm wearing green. It'd be kind of cute to get a little match going on here. So I'm grabbing a social blade at the bottom here to put on like my inner corner sort of area. So we're gonna go in with another brush and I'm gonna grab a shimmery green this time. Coat the brush as much as I can. And then I'm gonna place this across my eyelid. And going in with another brush to grab some of this shimmery shade up here. And I'm gonna place this in my inner, inner corner. <gasps> I forgot my lower lash line. Okay. So I'm gonna grab another brush and I can't dip into the same color twice, obviously. So there is quite a few brown shades in here, so maybe I'll just use... Okay, I'm just gonna dig into this one. And we're going to place this on our lower lash line. Oh, this was a terrible decision. I definitely think the one dip makeup challenge makes eyeshadow challenging. But the actual facial look seems fine. Like my skin's great, everything else is fine, but like the eyes. So it looks like dirt, but we're gonna keep pushing through and I'm gonna jump into my mascara and lashes because I do feel like this might be saved by some mascara and lashes, hopefully at least. So again, with our one dip, that's all we get. And I'm gonna place this on my light chills. See, I really feel like that's so much better with mascara on. So I do have confidence that lashes might save this look. So I'm actually gonna do my lashes off camera, but I'm gonna do lips first because it is all a part of our one dip makeup challenge. I'm going to get as much product as I can on this bloody, okay, there we go. Okay, so I usually use this to line my lips. So I'm going to try and do this as effectively as possible without wasting a product because obviously I need as much as I can. What's great about these is because the applicator has a hole in the middle, it holds a lot of the product. So I think I'm only gonna need the one dip, which is great. Alrighty, lip liner is done. That was our one pump. I'm going to go in with my normal lip color now. Again, also just making sure we get our one dip. This one doesn't have that same hole in the middle, so it doesn't hold any of the product. So what's on here is all I've got to use. Okay, I was definitely overreacting. There's obviously enough product here to reach my labs. 
So my lips are done and that is almost this one dip makeup challenge complete. Lastly, we're gonna go into some setting spray and again, we're gonna get one pump. I'm just gonna make sure this comes out clear. Okay, here we go. That was so underwhelming. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna throw my lashes off camera and I will be back to give us the final result and the final judgment on this one dip makeup challenge. This was by far the fastest I've ever done my makeup, like ever. So I don't hate it, but I definitely don't love it either. Um, I definitely think there could have been so many improvements, but of course it is a challenge. So I wasn't expecting this to come out amazing in the first place. I think lashes really pulled this look together. If we're being honest, it looked like dirt. There was no saving myself from the fact that it looks like dirt. With all of that being said, thank you so, so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, drop a thumbs up down below and leave a comment telling me what you thought about the video or what future content you would like to see. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you in the next one.